Welcome to Far Out with Faust, everybody. I am Faust Chicho, and I am excited and delighted to be joined by my brother. What's up? John Weiber. You may know him from one of his many accounts. News updates for real is in the house. We outside, fam. That's what's up. Absolutely. Thanks I'm, for having me, brother, by the way. Dude, I, it's, I was so, th- I, I honestly, I'm one of those people who can say that I get my news from you now. <laughs> more and more. And, you know, I, I, I think it's a mixed bag. I often, uh, I often t- toss and turn it and I'm wondering, it, it's an interesting time we're living in to say my the God. least and to put it lightly, but it's like, you know, no one trusts the media anymore and they shouldn't, but is it good that they trust some random guy on the internet? I don't know, man, but I'll tell you <laughs> this. I don't take it lightly. Uh, I try and do my best. I mean, in the end, it is satirical. I am an artist, first and foremost. And I I want people to understand that when I post a video, it's a reflection of the internet that day. The The content I make is meant to inspire conversation and thinking. And that's what we're doing. You see my comment section. You see the action in that comment section. Yeah, People right. having real debate, healthy debate. I mean, sometimes there's uh, jerks in there, but always they get they get piled on hard in my community, yeah. man. People don't stand for that. They, we don't like the racist stuff. We don't like anything, no. you know, like that. We keep it real. It's us versus the one percent. I'll say it again. It's us versus the one percent. Right. If they're not part of the one percent, they're my friend. All of you are my friend. That's it. So it should be obvious now to everyone who's been following me. Why I have brought this man <laughs> from Canada. It's, it's been to in New the York works for a minute, yeah. too. It's been um, in the works. The Southern hospitality is very real. Thank you again. You're very welcome, yeah. brother. Yeah. Um, and it's amazing. You know, we've been talking about synchronicities and just how, yes. how God, the universe, the creator, whatever you want to call this in, intelligence that yeah. keeps everything going yeah. without ha- us having to do this much. This burden of existence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what it feels like a lot of times, especially these days. But, uh, you know, um, I'd, I'm just being a cynic. It's a beautiful day here. You know? So speaking of cynicism, dude, you yeah. know, I, that's one of my, the, the biggest questions I have. You know, you are, you get information all day, every day, right? And yeah. like you said, people have a general and healthy distrust of everything that comes out of any yeah. kind of legacy media. Outlet. Yeah, they've ruined their chance you and know. all that. And, and that, is, that is just the way it is. You know, yeah. when, you, when you betray someone's trust over and over and over and over again, then they're, they're going to be very, very hesitant to, to believe you again. Yes. It's called The Boy Who Cried Wolf, one of the first lessons we learned. No kidding. You know? Yeah, Chicken Little, a little mixed in there too. You know what I'm saying? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And, and chick, that's their other favorite dish. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I struggle sometimes to make sure, like, I'll, you know, some people do even, you know, call me out on it and say, this is fear mongering. The thing is, the fear gets the views. And so, frankly, sometimes I do post, you know, stuff saying, hey, I'm, I'm not going to post something about the eclipse, uh, biblical prophecy about to be unleashed on the world. No, I don't believe that. Yeah. But they're, you know, I post stuff that is scary because it's happening. I get the same, you know what I'm like, I I know what the same accusations, say. bro. And it's like, but I, so I do try and keep a level head. Uh, I will quickly. I mean, we were talking about David Icke earlier today. Yeah. And I, I think what I said, I said, he loses me at the lizard thing. And, yeah. you know, I try and keep it real as I can. I have a nuanced opinion. I worked in politics 10 years in Canada. Yeah. I've read hundreds of books, literature. I'm talking Faulkner, Hemingway, Heller. No, you are Easton a much Ellis, deeper and, dude than, than I think so people I'm a, realize. I'm a little better qualified than some of these guys you see. Uh, you know, I'm not yeah. going to call anyone out, but some of these, you know, guys that just get on screen and just yeah. repeat headlines and whatever, you know, I, I like to think we have a little more nuance over here, my friend. And, and, and I believe that's why your channel and your channels have grown. I think so. Yeah. And, and why you have such a loyal following, you know, <laughs> right as die, a man, I can't say enough about the community. There's a reason for all that. Yeah. Um, and, and I, I think it is because there is so much more depth behind what you're doing and the, and the comedy. So, so first of all, I, I stopped watching the news and I mean, I'll, Years and years ago, yeah. I stopped believing the news, anything, you know, but I, I will read the headlines because I want to know what they're selling. Right. You know, we want to know what, what the legacy media is putting out. And then you learn how to discern that. <laughs> um, one of the things I love about John, um, and, and, you know, I, I saw a lot of my followers were following him as well. And, you know, that's how the algorithms love to kind of repopulate things, Bring which is together, one yeah. of the cool things they do one of the few well uh, you know it's, it's a mixed bag but yeah, yeah. that's a good thing it does <laughs> Absolutely. all hail the almighty algorithm i like to do a quick or, yeah. or ai <laughs> as people mistakenly love to call it these days yes um you know and then i but 
I, I found your channel. And so I get a sense of what's going on and I always get a laugh with it. We and, got a laugh right now. And right? laughter is the best fucking medicine. It's the best way to deal with this Especially if you're going to like, you know, attempt to digest and understand the shit show that is this society and what's happening right now. You know, if you're going to, if you're yeah. just going to take a peek, follow news updates for real, because you'll find out what's happening. I mean- the, the the shit that you should probably be aware of because there's so much obviously we have 24 hour news channels oh the recy- I think the average uh, you know uh, the t- the retention span for for a viewer is like two weeks max I mean it's probably more like two days yeah um, so I'll just I I, I like this uh, I I appreciate you saying all that and I just want to remind people. Uh, JP Morgan settled a $300 million lawsuit with Epstein victims and 3M Innovation settled a $10 billion lawsuit with 5,000 municipalities after poisoning their water with forever chemicals. Those are two stories that everyone should know. That's right. And no one knows that. And I, now I've, I, we found ourselves, we're at this beautiful little... Uh, spice Rack. Spice Rack. Right. Yeah. And so Spice right? Is that what Spice right, yeah. So the little Barbecue Wall place. Street Journal, guys. Wall Street Journal. Hold it up for y'all, okay? You can yeah. see... The main story here, picture perfect day at the event, right? The girls wearing the nice hats. What's it say over here though? The not so the not so big one. High rates high start rates. to squeeze banks. Oh. Well, maybe something you should be aware of. Maybe that should be switched. Maybe they should be switched <laughs> positions, guys. This is a race in England. This is something that's Bunch affecting of, Americans. My God. And this is the Wall Street Journal, by the way. So we got race in Britain, actual uh Wall Street news. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. You see the problem with this. That's called journalism, baby. Yeah. Um, I wonder why things are in disarray. No, sh- no doubt. Um, but so, so what you just said is is very, very key and important and dear to my heart because I I, I created my channel and 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 I love to dig up information that I believe if everyone was fucking aware of the way they should right. be then the things that are happening right now wouldn't be such a, a, a random event mystery to them. They would understand that this is uh, part of a long pattern, you know? And so I, I and people accuse me of fear mongering, you know, I get it all the time. I'm like, listen, yeah. um, I would rather you be aware of who the wolf is yes. than wander around and get fucking, you know, eaten by it, okay? You Blind. should be aware. If you're gonna make an informed decision for right. you and your family and your right. loved ones, about what to do in the next fucking catastrophe they roll out for us, then you should know who the people rolling it out are and what their habits are, right? It's, it gets a lot less mysterious when you pay attention and know certain things. All of a sudden, it makes a lot more sense, guys. And, then, you know, having said that, uh, I do. I, I work hard at trying to catch myself and be like, listen, I'll try and... A lot of times, it, it, you know, sometimes it is the simplest explanation. Sometimes, yeah. you know, sometimes the boat did just crash. I don't think that's the case in Baltimore, but you know, sometimes it does. And then we get carried away and we get lost in the algorithm soup. Yeah. Uh, I've been talking about this a lot lately because I think it's, it's, it's a part of the phenomenon we're seeing where, you know, one year it's trains, then it was planes. Now it's bridges. Yeah. But it's because we're all viewed. We're just, just everyone's including every major news company that should oh, be yeah. above that. Monetization. They need the views. So the algorithm, something, some catastrophe happens. Next day, if you tag that, it's going to get more views. Yeah. So you tag it and you do that till you run it dry. And that's why it seems like all this stuff might be happening. Oh, I yeah, do yeah. really believe that, you know, and, and are we under attack? Yes. Yeah. Frankly, yes. Like look into, there's something I looked up and it's about uh, Germans attacking before World War II. Sabotage. Oh, sure. You know what they did? They fucked with bridges, fucked with trains, fucked with the food supply. Oh, wow. Does that sound familiar, my friend? Yeah. And you little. know what the government did at the time? They downplay it. Yeah, because they want the result. They, well, they don't even watch. They don't want to admit any weakness because we are in the midst of wartime propaganda, my friends. You have to realize that. So everything you see, take it with a grain yeah. of salt. Think about which side it's coming from. And the truth is somewhere in the middle probably. Yeah. yeah. Every time. I mean, almost every time, right? Yeah. And, and that's a, the key thing is to take it with a grain of salt and to use your critical thinking skills which apparently have been, you know, <laughs> eradicated. <laughs> I mean, eradication is a, is a good word. I'm like, but if you thought about that for a moment, what what, what conclusion would you come to? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it just boggles my mind, bro. Like scary times. It's it's like the skill has been 
made dormant in people and it has to be woken back up because once they're, once you're, you know, once you're privy, it's like, you know, if you've ever been fucking beat up or mugged. Yes. Yeah. You're never going to be that fucking situationally aware, you know, stupid again. You're going to, you're going to be, you're going to know what's up. You're going to have a sense of your, your surrounding like you didn't have before. And, 100%. and people who follow my channel, and I'm sure a lot of people who follow your channels as well, yeah. you know, they say, I had, you know, now I see everything differently. Right. And that's what I want because now they're seeing reality instead yeah. of the fantasy. Fantasy is fun. You know, we've all seen the matrix. People pr- prefer the fucking steak. And I respect right. that if that's, that's your choice. But I think a lot of people would prefer to be informed, even if it is uncomfortable learning yes you know? absolutely can i have some days i just want the steak frankly yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> ignorance is bliss and that's an old saying but it's never been more true than right now and i think that's probably why people are hesitant oh yeah. it's easy you talked about this earlier before we before we had this all going but you talked about it, uh, being able to um, discredit someone right away categorize me as this that means your ex so i don't have to listen to you it's, yeah. it's easy it's it's lazy yeah People look at me and they go, fucking, people think I'm alt-right, apparently. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I'm a fucking liberal artist in a lot of ways, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Welcome I'm sorry that your concept of liberalism has been so mutated that you forgot yeah. you're supposed, to, you're supposed to hold the government accountable. You know, liberals started that shit, right, guys? Jesus. I love Getting your, upset over here. Your, my, my, favorite, uh, <laughs> my favorite ism from your channel is... Also, not what I'm referring not to. Not what I'm referring to, fam. It fucking gets me every time, bro. I love it. It cracks me up. I've noticed that. Just uh, I'll find myself just making weird faces into the camera I, sometimes now, and it's like you know, you see that's Jim like Carrey, King. yeah, that, Canadian that, legend. That's who. That's who. My 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 older brother who passed away last year, right? Not this January, January for that. He he always cracked up because I would make Amazing. funny faces, you know, and yeah. I was an actor, and he would say. You look just like Jim Carrey, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" So, um, <laughs> what was your What was your brother's name? Christopher. Shout out Christopher, Christopher man. Yeah, I um, like to think we all die twice: once physically, and the last time someone says your name. So yeah, what up, Chris? What up, Donna? Shout out, Donna. And, and you're you had a pass. Yeah, pass very three days ago, my nana, nana, my nana passed away. Ninety one years old. Great run. Tough old bird. Yeah, yeah. And you had a lot of fun. You had her. She was kind of part of your channel in a lot of ways I, i'm you know? so grateful and i'll say it again i've been saying it all week but uh, thank you so much everyone for the outpouring of love uh and condolences has literally restored my faith in humanity a little bit that's uh, nice dude thousands of comments um and but nana loved i would go live with her uh at her apartment and then later <laughs> we, awesome. when she was in like the hospice place because you know she just sits there all day right and uh the interaction of her was amazing. Yeah. And like to be like, yo, shout out your Nana, this person saying what's up from Australia, this yeah. person saying what's up from Finland, you know, it was such a surreal awesome. thing. Um, so anyways, guys. You spent a lot of time with her in her in her room yeah. towards the end. And, and Yeah, two weeks straight. And then right. I, I had to go on this trip. I was hoping uh, I was hoping she was going to hang on until I got back, but yeah. that's just the way it went. But in a funny way. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, it's, 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 I woke up, uh, I woke up crushed the day of next day. I woke up with such fucking purpose and just ready to go brother. So nice. You know, we ain't stopping. You told me a a, a pretty incredible story Yeah. about what you, I mean, you should let's, let's share that. Okay. Okay guys. So I, I'm i I'm an emotional guy. If you can't tell. Um, so I was walking to the store after the news, I made a quick post because people literally, if I don't post in the morning, people are like, did, did they get you? You know, that's what happened. (laughs) Are you alive? Yeah. Yeah. For real. So I, I, I just let people know, Hey, and, and also they knew Nana. So I said, listen, Nana passed, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to post today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Go to the store, buy a coffee. I'm crying. I don't give a shit. I mean, yeah. you know, get out of my way. I'm a big man crying on the right. street here, you know. So I'm, I, I plow out of the store, walking across the intersection. Keep in mind, I posted the video on the way to the store. Right. So it's like five minutes max. And this, uh, this old Latino woman comes up to me in the middle of the intersection and goes, I'm so sorry about your Nana. Wow. And uh, I kind of stopped. I was kind of freaked out at first. And then she's like, I'm a follower. And I'm like, and I just gave her the biggest hug there um, in the intersection. She squeezed my hand. Uh, the, the light had turned green and these New Yorkians were not honking. That's so amazing. you know, it's a miracle right I've there. seen them honk at each other when there's a red light and they can't move. <laughs> so it's like the fact they didn't honk, I think they saw something was happening. And uh, I'm just going to say it. I think that was my Nana. Yeah. Giving me one last hug. So. It's 
Dude, you're, I think I, it's I, got me re, reassessing some of my predetermined beliefs about things and how the universe good. works in a good way. I that's think you, I think as you grow older, maybe that's something that becomes. I mean, obviously, that's correlated to us approaching that the pearly gates, death, whatever, yeah. the almighty blackness, whatever it is. But I got I got some reassessing to do for sure. It's uh, it's an amazing story, dude. And, and it, it really, you is. know, I see this image of you and that kind woman. And the kind of energy that surrounded you two yeah. as you embraced in the middle of the intersection. And it was so strong fucking me that up right even now. even New Yorkers didn't honk. I know. That to me is I the mean, craziest part about that story. That <laughs> and, and so, you know, people pick up on energy. You don't need to see it in order to pick up on it and have it affect your behavior. Absolutely. And that's what happened in that moment. Um, you know, and now of course, scientists, you know, will tell you, yeah, of course we have a biofield. Yeah, well, you know. The, well, the double slit experiment, us, right? I'm sure you're well it, aware. Well, it goes, it yeah. goes way back to that. Yeah. But, you know, the whole, the whole notion of an aura was considered, you know, completely anti-scientific until <sighs> they, now, yeah. they're, now they call it a biofield. Sure. And you can measure it, and it is a measure of health, you know, how much, you know, you're emitting. Oh, my God. Um, Stephen King wrote a whole novel about that, like, 30 years ago. No sorry, shit. sorry to interrupt. But yeah, he talks about how like if a, a, a rotten person has yeah. like a black aura around them. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, and and now science is like, oh well, yeah, of course that exists. Like, motherfuckers, you've been saying it wasn't true for... Well, who the Y files, right? It's pseudoscience until it's science yeah. every time. And it seems like more and more... That's right. It's, Why does it turn out? I, I saw a great meme the other day, and they're like, "What's the weirdest thing about American culture?" And there's like, every twenty or so years, the government will le will release a file and be like, "You were right. We did it. Do, some, <laughs> do something about it." Yeah. And we have we're working. Or, up to or it. they'll just. Uh, I, I mean, they, they they pick and choose what they're going to release. And then, certainly, certainly. The notion that they're going to release something and then they release a hundred page document and every single word redacted. is redacted. <laughs> just like I mean, the, like uh, what what fucking I mean? Can you imagine? If, if 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 we do have an audience of of extraterrestrial, you know, yeah. family yeah. and and cheer, cheer cheerleading us in our stupidity, can you imagine what they think while they? I mean, if they stop <sighs> in in, like <laughs> in Detroit or Chicago and and they see an an altercation between the police, yeah, and and someone with, you know, who is having a mental episode, and yeah. they see this conversation that goes back and forth and then they see the police pull out their guns and shoot this guy dead yeah and then rush to call an ambulance and try to revive him back into life in the same five minutes what do you think that they're thinking about these fucking That's people crazy i've never even thought of it on like this that. fucking planet how confused <laughs> must we be i mean they got to be like they they, they have no mind. idea they have no they have no idea what the fuck they're they have no idea why they're here they have no idea watching <laughs> watching you know women fighting in the streets over something happening uh you know that they don't even fully understand meanwhile putting their own lives and families at risk for the sake of just being part of a cause i mean yeah. it would be a hell of a show i'm yeah. not gonna lie it'd be fascinating um yeah then and, and uh, I, I hope our ratings are good <laughs> i mean i feel like i feel like we're pretty entertaining so absolutely i I think anything that <laughs> anything that has a has comedic value in this that's right very sick world we're living in you need it it's healing I man. wouldn't survive without a good laugh or chuckle here no, throughout either. the day um, yeah man but we're building I, I think I think I got faith we're building community man that that, that transcends categorization and all that stuff yeah. we talk about like I think I was mentioning to you I met some gentlemen. Shout out GNR Deli. Hey, how you doing? Nice, Go dude. get a sandwich at uh, GNR Deli. How was my Italian there? <laughs> it was all right. I'm going to work on it. Anyways, um, so we got GNR Deli. We got the boys from the Bronx, okay? I'm wearing a shirt, the Maraconi Island. Nice. NEMS, okay? Shout out. <laughs> Bing bong. Fuck your life. Sorry for the swear word, Fox. Right. But anyways, um, we got uh, Robert O'Neill. Wait, talk. talk. Hello. 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 Nice. Oh, Look at that. It's a little late on the. You're gonna wear that button out if uh, <laughs> you talk too long. So then Robert O'Neill, shout that shout out Robert O'Neill, SEAL Team uh, Six member that got Osama. You know, oh, shit. shout out Tim Kennedy, UFC fighter Green Beret. Shout out um, everyone in between the Rat Daddy in NYC, Philomenas. Yeah. Everyone I met last night here in here in uh, the outskirts of Atlanta, the veterans, the helicopter pilot I talked to, all of y'all are together. We are in this together, and we all are saying. The exact same thing. Everyone sees what's happening. Yep. It's just those that are willing to start admitting it. 
Yeah. And I think most people are. If you have a one-on-one conversation, yeah, almost everyone will agree with the stuff we're saying because you have to because it's the way it is. Listen, this is the more people <laughs> who will admit it and yeah. who will stand up, the more inspiration. I mean, this is human nature. You know, it's, yep. it's not even necessarily a flaw, but it is certainly with, herd behavior, you know, baby. It's it's herd behavior, and there's there's a safety in that that we've learned from our ancestors. And I understand it, but at the same time, what happens when one person stands up and two people stand up and all of a sudden someone who had that opinion, but didn't want to be the fucking, the only <laughs> the um, man through the brick wall, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's a real thing. You know, I was just, there's a oh, great, yeah, I feel pretty bloodied up some days, buddy. I'm not going to oh. lie. <laughs> I know you, I know you know. it can be discouraging. Yes, it can. It can be very discouraging, um, yeah. especially when they're hitting you from every angle, but yeah. Um, well, like I was saying, I found out I can't collaborate on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. I, that's so, I, I've never heard of that feature. I, they took the button away. It's just not there. They yeah, didn't tell so me they bizarre. were doing it. I have no strength. Even on. I still have that. You button. have that. <laughs> this guy's had a big warning on his account, and I can't collaborate in with every anyone. language. I've, oh my and, God. And, and also, when people follow me, <laughs> whatever part of the world they're in, they're like, hey, I just thought you should know. Yeah. Instagram really doesn't want me to follow you. Really doesn't like And you. I see the, the warning is in French or the warning is in Portuguese, and I'm like, where are you again? Like, uh, I'd love to know uh, who I was finds. like, you're going to follow me anyway, right? And they're like, of course. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> like, it's like, I got you. I was like, because, you know, it's the serial liars who are telling you not to believe me, right? Who, who funds these fact checkers, I wonder? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't wonder at all. I know exactly. <laughs> <who's funny. laughs> um, that came out quick, right? <laughs> so, like, fact checks were part you know this as an author i'm sure yeah you know you you would have a, a book like so i made a movie i made i made like five movies awesome but, but um you know you would the moment they were going to bring it into a corporate entity right they would say we want to run this through and have it have it fact checked and make sure there's no and that's where the term fact checking comes from but they've taken it and and now they're training little fact checkers these <laughs> these little fucking weasels you yeah. know yeah. Oh, oh, some of them Did are I, robots. I hope none of them are listening. I'm sorry. Beep, 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 beep. I mean, they're, the great. they're great. I'm sure they're great. <laughs> Listen, they're, they, just like everyone else, I believe, are trying to do good. You know, so. They think they are. I mean, they think they are. They've been convinced that this is going to help society sure. and they've been offered money to do so. Yeah. So I shouldn't call them names and I, I should not Very make big those of you. judgments. Very big of you. You know, but the truth is that <laughs> they. They should know if they're actual journalists that well, when you have one entity saying what is and is not misinformation, false information, you have a fucking problem because we live in a society that demands debate yeah. about these things. And you cannot debate if you are shut down for sharing what you believe are, you know, the events or the, the facts about something. Then we have no debate and we have no, quote, democracy or fucking no. any kind of republic to speak of. That's gone. Bye. And that's what's been happening, you know. We and, had a good run. Freedom of speech had yeah. a good run, eh? It's fucking <laughs> good. I, good. I've been, I've Pretty been, good few decades there, but I think it's gone. You know, it's, it sounds an awfully lot like this little book written by a guy named George Orwell. Yeah. 1984, Double Think. We have double fact. Speak, double, double speak. Double yeah. speak. Yeah, double speak, whatever. No, it's, and it's both. It's, it's both. both. And it's like... These are not fact checkers. These are biased, um, what, guardians of the gate of and, information. Yeah. And, and, and so you have people working on behalf of people with direct interest, you know, yeah. ulterior motives to these things. That is not facts. <laughs> that is propaganda. Yeah, Thank hello. you. Yeah. And, and I mean, I, I, I love I, that we're going to post this on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> cut, we'll cut that into yeah, a clip. Cut the, yeah, yeah, they yeah. won't let us collaborate. I wonder why. <laughs> Hey man, we only got like twelve Your views phone on this. Just blows up. <laughs> <laughs> just, fuck you. Yeah, hey, what, the what? Fuck? what the hell? <laughs> man, we're not far from it. I'm not even kidding. I, I mean, I'm gonna pet Ganesh for good luck right now. Is yeah. that okay? Yeah, Am I totally. Even supposed to touch it? No, yeah, totally, man. My man, it's a solid, solid. Man. Little See, like, set. here's the thing. Like, you know, we've lost <laughs> our way in so many. This is a weird tangent. I'm gonna go on, but I'm just gonna, no, I'm gonna it. plow through it. We lost so much, like, uh, <sighs> artistic expression, like. The Simpsons, seasons three to eight, <laughs> right? A poo. I think I think I've watched videos of uh, these new generations being very offended by that character. Wow! And it's like, man, How okay, look, look, like you know, everyone loved him. I fucking love yeah. a poo. Like, 
you did learn, and there's the episode where you learn about like the Hindu culture and the, the arranged marriage. I learned more from the Simpsons than I did <laughs> at school because they were allowed to do these things yeah. and, and talk about these things. And there's another example of the slice to right. the freedom of speech that ha has happened. They're taking the tongues right out of our mouths, yeah. and it's enough. It's enough. I don't even care. It sucks listening to someone sometimes, but freedom of speech is real easy to defend until right. someone says something you don't agree with. That's and right. that's what it is come to now. That's exactly what Bobby Kennedy Jr. always always insists that There's people a, understand. Yeah. By the way, the CIA didn't didn't kill JFK. His head just did that. His head. What do you mean? It just his head just did that. Oh, I know, I know. It CIA just had yeah, no, it. nothing to do with it. His head just what decided they, to do that. What do they call that. those bullets that blow up? Uh, frag, frag. <laughs> yeah, like a frag. Well, I mean, the magic bullet it, somehow it hit him six different places. Like, Dude, I, that, I, that's amazing. I have a whole bit I do about that bullet. <laughs> that bullets that bullet hit him. Went out, hung out in the car, chilled for about two, Flick, flickered maybe with the a radio tenth of a station. Second, yeah, you yeah. Know? Went back into Governor Connolly. That's right. Exited him back. I mean, it, it truly was a magic bullet. That's not how physics works, people. And this is <laughs> this is what how. the Warren Commission put forth, and 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 they printed they, they printed out the Warren Commission. It was like this big fucking yeah book of of. <laughs> Lies. Lies. <laughs> lies. A book of lies. You know, waste of paper. Yeah. Trees killed for nothing. And they put it in every fucking gas station, every grocery store. They wanted everybody to know yeah. what happened. Guys, you know, listen. The, the same people who say, um, are you sure you want to follow this person? Sure. Because he posts misinformation. He posts, have you read the Warren Commission? And I love when I get strikes on videos where I literally have like news articles or, 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 or empirical evidence backing it up. And I'll still, it it'll strain. This is mostly on tickety talk that this oh, yeah. happens now, but it's uh, yeah, misinformation. Our community respects and does not allow. And it's like you, you don't even know what you're talking about, robot. By the way, I know you're just yeah, a robot. Exactly. There is you're no not way. a human making that decision, which is also part of the problem. There's, there's the no, problem. there's no context. There's no nuance. It's just no. With TikTok, there's the word. You're gone. Literally. Bye bye. That's how I got kicked off. You were so they took away your whole account on TikTok. I Deleted. Know. Yeah, I've heard that happen. I had a hundred thousand. <sighs> They'll get followers. you. So I made it over that hump, and now I'm too big. They've tried. They want to, yeah. but they can't somehow. But they've they've had me at nine hundred fifteen thousand followers for eight months, going on a year now. I will not. It hasn't budged. That's the same thing happened to me. They stunned me at a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, this is just th th whatever they've done to the account. We went from growing exponentially yep. to not growing at all. You know. Well, once it starts, once it has its uh, the eye of Sauron as yeah. a target is right. focused on you, you're, yeah. it's every video, boom, flag, flag, and with flag. With TikTok, you know, you you have um, like hyper vigilant algorithms. Yeah, it's, be, be, because, it's because it's a CCP designed little oh, buddy. Es espionage app. There is literally. Uh, social credit built into that algorithm. I'm sure you can tell, right? So I try and do these modules because I'm like, I gotta get my, I gotta get my credit score up, yeah. Doug. So, anyways, I got a check from them for like, I don't know, it was like, uh, like when they deleted my account, they must yeah. be like, oh fuck, we owe this guy twelve bananas or whatever. They sent Let's me, go. they sent me a check, twelve cents or something. No, I, I was like, it was something ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, clearly this was designed by communist people. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck. Um, I'll tell you this fun little, uh, no, I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but uh, ever since I left my home, home country of Canada, where Trudeau, uh, our, our, our fantastic uh, leader, uh, <laughs> the liberal prince, had, had put forward a bill that, that led to meta uh, and, and, and all, you know, all, a lot of platforms taking away news access to Canadians, like Canadians cannot click on news links from insta or facebook um none none it'll just go to a page you cannot view this oh my yeah. god yeah so like dude. so like yeah um that is that that i uh, did australia do that too yeah australia's getting really bad it's these hate speech laws which we we also just passed another one so i could get sued 20k I, what's the country that you can you can now get thrown in prison? Ireland and Scotland, I believe. One or the other. It might be both or one or the other. But yeah, it seems like all these uh, Commonwealth countries are giving it a little test run. All the crown countries. Sure, yeah. But King Sausage Fingers, in it, bruv? You ever seen his fingers? No. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pull them up for you real quick. No, you keep, you keep talking. Sausage King Charles, man, my oh, boy's my boy has the biggest sausage fingers it, you've ever seen. Did, did this I is read gonna it be, that King Charles has opted out of uh, traditional treatments for for his cancer? I believe so. 
Um, what does that tell you about traditional treatments? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I should look say at those puppies, eh? That's that, those are his. Yeah, <laughs> those are his does, fingers. Does he have like a really high sodium diet? There's something going on he there. He needs to fucking. His meat suit is getting a little old. So. <laughs> this dude needs some turmeric <laughs> and an the... infrared fucking sauce. You ever seen dude? it? That's my why King God. Sausage Fingers, bro. <laughs> Show the people. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'll take a screenshot of this. And yeah, yeah, I'll send you have to send to that to me. I certainly will, my will friend. edit it in so everyone... What, sorry, for, sorry this, for the nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> for everyone who's listening, we just looked at like what appears to be the fattest <laughs> fingers, fingers you've ever a man has ever... <laughs> Kept hidden it's, in it's a very, body that did not it's look very like it belonged kingly, to. Very kingly, okay. my man. Wow. What did you make of all that stuff about the Royals over the last month? Distraction tactic or um, is Kate Middleton RIP'd? Is she gone? I mean, is she, I, get, I get them confused. Is Kate the one that's actually related or is she married? Kate and Middleton married prince william um, but she's she has royal blood in her right she's not like no i don't think so she's not like the the mark markle she fucking. was she was like from a rich british family but i don't think they were actually dukes or duchesses or anything maybe some sort of slight line i Middle feel like anyone rich in britain probably has some sort of slight connection yeah. to the old stuff right but um no she's 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 the sister of pippa who i i like pippa better frankly I don't know Pippa, but I like the name. She she rolls around with like drug dealers and stuff. Oh. She's kind of crazy. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not cool. I mean, I just like <laughs> joking about it. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, just one quick recycle back there. My views are way up ever since I left Canada on TikTok. So they are definitely actively suppressing my channel oh, in Canada. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah there it is. I Amazing. mean, very obvious. Yeah, shocker. Shocker, I know. Wow. wow. Yep. Can't wait to go back. <laughs> <laughs> Trudeau, I mean, you talk about ruining a country. Most of me, it's not him. It's not his decisions. I mean, do you think any of our leaders are making decisions, fam? Of course not. I, no, they're, they're all right now. They're all Manchurian. Who is the last real president of the U.S. United States? Do you think? I mean, a lot of people will make an argument for for Don for the Don only because <sighs> I'm sorry, was, that's uh, not it. Oh, but but the truth <laughs> is, I'm sorry to break this to you guys. You know, what exactly did he change? <laughs> Oops, you know. I Same, mean, but it goes both ways. Trudeau, there's this bill that that, that uh, Harper put through, uh, who I was working for at the time, and it was called the Anti-Terrorism Act. But what it should have been called is the Spy on My Own Fucking Citizens country, yeah. Act. Yeah. Um, it was our own Patriot Act, right? We just went through about 2013, let's say. Trudeau ran the year he won, 2015. He ran on abolishing that. Do you think that act's still in place? I mean, they you will fucking know say it's still anything, in place. Dude. You know, yes, they legalized weed. Hooray. The government didn't make any money from it. For I think this is the first year the government started making money from selling drugs. Wow. Yeah. I knew, I I mean, knew 14 on, year olds in high books. school. Yeah, on, well, fair. I guess. Yeah, right. Not the CIA crack uh, no, are cartel. You kidding me? How do they, I get hooked up with the CIA crack cartel, man? They've That's been what making I want. fucking so much money. And, and you better, I'm, I guarantee you that Canada has been, you know, a t-shirt that just says CCC, CIA crack cartel. Yeah. I kind of like that. And, and Pat, patent pending. Patent, <laughs> trademark pending. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even think about it. <clears throat> also not what I'm referring to. Not <laughs> what I'm referring to, guys. Um, I mean, dude, this is just, if people understood that the war on drugs. Yeah, manufactured. Was manufactured. And, and then the, the campaign, the, the slogan, the just say no, <laughs> oh, you yeah. know. America has a problem, and we're going to declare war on illegal narcotics. Yeah, thanks, guys. And what is unspoken is the, the same illegal narcotics we've been bringing into the country and selling yes. to produce you know, enough revenue to support coups, incomes, black All ops All over projects, the world, baby. Congo to, the, to, to Guatemala. Let's go. I mean, it's not like we can ask Congress for that money, you know. So, yeah. you know, you have what, what Ike has... Um, taken from the hegelian dialect you know problem reaction solution sure sure that, they create the problem that is yeah, what yeah, they do yeah. you know and that, well man it's funny all these drugs are now 
so all of a sudden it's like, oh, this could be used for medicinal. This could yeah. be used for a therapy. This can actually change someone's life suffering from traumatic stress disorder. Oops. Oh, and, and, and by the way, we put all those people in prison, not because we wanted a slave labor, uh, you know, access to slave labor. It's because they're bad people. Oh, just kidding. Oh, what are we doing? We don't know. Yeah. I mean, but like they Kamala do. Harris, you know. Yeah. I mean, and, jo- and why are we, why are they still pretending like she's black? I don't understand. <sighs> I mean, I don't even, I can't even tell you one thing about that. They're like our first black, I'm like, wait a minute, she's, I thought she was Indian. I've, is she really? Because they do pretend she's, I mean, her name is Kamala, but. I have no clue about anything of that woman. I don't think I've ever even heard her speak. Let me tell you about. I don't think I've ever heard her speak. I met someone who knew her. Yeah. And he said that she is the cruelest. Wow. The most rotten. Well, do you know what it takes to be a woman politician, man? I'm well, not just saying not this, only that, but, but they, a, a masculinized corporate cutthroat woman, Jesus lawyer, yeah, scary. Who then went into politics? They got so, it. so what is what is what do you think she learned? She learned how to put that's scary, and 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 made a career putting African. She's a heartbeat away. People in jail, you know? <laughs> and then and then oh, she was a prosecutor. She wow. was a prosecutor. Nice, yeah, uh, and 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 known to be fucking merciless. Absolutely merciless, and that's hey. What, what an that, ally! What does that do for our slave labor? What a what a woman of Who the people. Who has the most populated prisons on the planet? America, the United States. number oh. one, guys. Number one again. Number Always one. Number, number one. one. Number, number one. one. Let's try. It. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ! You, know. you guys also have the worst mental health in the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, More the most medicated. Most one of the highest deaths, probably. Maybe not the highest, but definitely up there. Definitely up there. Yeah. You know, I mean, across we've, the board, we've number one the across most, the board, man. Uh, the most nuclear weapons. Oh, I've, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I actually, I worked with a quick tangent, guys. We've done a lot. So my head is full of stories. But we met the rat daddy of New York City. Uh, do you know that New York City has a rat czar? Like the no, government I had no pays, fucking idea. like the paid paid position. What is this rat czar? Nothing. Do? I don't think she does F all. Uh, but my boy Kenny petitioned for Kenny to become the actual rat czar because he's out on the streets. He took me in the subways hunting rats. Uh, we saw some big mamas out there, oh, man. Yeah. You could have a full shish kebab with these motherfuckers. But, uh, you know, Kenny, uh, <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> You know what's crazy is I just forgot what I was gonna say, man. I'm losing it, guys. Take me out back. I'm right. done. I'm done. Kenny NYC underscore KB. Follow him. Um, back to the nuclear detonation. Okay. Yeah. So, listen. I got sent. To, what's that island where we did all the nuclear tests back in the day? Canary Islands. Is that it? Or uh, uh, fuck. I Google it yourself. Do your own research, guys. Anyways, um, someone <laughs> sent me this. It was an aviation alert, and it said deadly radiation in this airspace do not fly through this was about three months ago so they're testing so they did again. it they did it in, in the sky yeah or or they, i wonder why everyone's uh getting sick <sighs> you know Buddy, i've gets had sick, some very know? interesting messages sent like to there's me. no fucking allergies right now why no shit. but everyone you know is sick i wonder why you know? well it's not like we obliterated our immune i'm systems. sure that the fucking radiation in the atmosphere that they're that it's just really peachy for everyone. Okay, it's so system. scary you just said that. I've been sent multiple messages about the fact they are using radi- radiation weapons right now all over the world, That's unknown. True. And I mean, that might be why the Antarctica. Has anyone ever thought maybe it's not, like maybe climate change is a cause by all the fucking yeah. weapons and lasers and uh, direct energy weapons and whatever else we have, the stuff we don't even know. Dude. Do you know that China for 10 years has had a, a van that can drive around your neighborhood and microwave your guts from the inside, just like out on the street? Because drive by us right now, gone. Do they really? Yes, that's old. That's old tech. Yeah. That's 2014 tech. I'll tell you what I found. Horrific. I'm going to be. I'm going to be showcasing it. Maybe I shouldn't tell it. Hold Maybe it. I give a little teaser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give a little teaser. <laughs> um, let's just say, let me just say this. Yeah. I, I found some shit around the World Trade Centers. Wow. Um, s- some pictures of, of vehicles. <gasps> um, Interesting. And, and different news reports yeah. that you can still find online. Um, and I thought I, I was looking at a video of Maui. Oh, my God. And I And I said, what the fuck? Fuck. There's one that got because the, because these vehicles well they they were all lined up, um, they were blocks from from the World Trade Center, um, whatever you want to call it, yeah. the, the demolition, yeah, the dustification, the evaporation, the disintegration. Yeah. They were the they biggest were, magic trick in, yeah, the, in they the were world. they were from the from the the, phys- the physics defying uh, day of nine eleven. 
these cars were not in any radius right. of any fire. And you and so you have these news reporters walking down the street the and they don't know what to fucking say, bro. They're like they're like, you can see here this car and this guy is like That's real, that exists out there. Like the reporters talking oh, I'm gonna, about yeah, it before. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. I'm gonna show you it because we can spice wow. it into this podcast because it'll be wow. A little preview of this this part two of the special I'm doing. That's crazy. Recorded. And and the guy, he, this poor bastard who has to report this, I, I do not envy, you know, he was like, and I'm, I'm standing here on, on such and such street, and he's like, you could see all these, ca- all these cars got melted. They all got melted. And, and, this, and, this, and, and he's looking at a fucking car on top of a car melted together. What? He's like, you can see these two cars must How? have. And he's like, Sounds like they a- must have. Uh, well, the the the, the black. He has no idea what to say. He I'm almost like, said the yeah, You can't explain <laughs> this, dude, because it does not. There's not. There's no part of physics that will allow you to explain how this fucking car got on top of the other one, and they both melted together when nothing else around them is fucking on top of each other or melted. What did fucking King Kong stop by? Yeah. Pick them up, smash them together, and then Godzilla used his breath well, to look, melt them. I you don't, weren't you know. aware of this. Uh, you, you didn't know that when a building collapses, cars melt together. You didn't know that. No, I had no idea. You didn't when a building pancakes, friction. yeah, friction. Yes, yeah. well, come on. Listen, I will say this. And I, I'm curious your take on it. I had. I was talking with a guy, pilot, like I mentioned, t- talking to a pilot for a while last night. Great guy. Shout out Corey. Um, so he was saying. Uh, I asked him. We we got deep enough in the convo yeah. where I felt comfortable. I was like. Could a guy that trained for two weeks maneuver the plane <laughs> uh, into the Pentagon? And he gave me an answer I've never heard before. He said he that that's why that's why you don't see anything because he came up short and blew up in front of it. Oh God! Which you're not buying it. I'd be curious. I, He's I, not I, a very smart pilot. Uh, I think maybe, and he obviously doesn't know the flight path of of the. The so-called, the, th- the, the alleged plane. I think he seemed to be, and not there's anything wrong with this, he's, he's a proud American and maybe he doesn't want to fully yeah. acknowledge that that was a missile for sure, let, let, by the way. That was a missile. That was a cruise missile you. for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Let me just Release say the this, video. Okay. Show me the freaking video. No, there's no video to show you. <laughs> like, the like, no, that's what I'm saying. Like if it's a plane, just show me one frame of a plane. Like they can't. You know what else I have? I have news reports of, of, of interviews of people who lived around the Skanks, Skanksville? What do I want to call it, a skank? That's, that's, that's Washington, the Skanksville? That's the yeah. Pennsylvania so-called crash, the one that didn't have any plane parts either. Yeah, funny. Uh, have you ever seen a plane wreckage? Never. Usually it has not one fucking... Not one little fucking thing. Usually it's cut. You, you see the plane. The plane is literally there. You I mean, see it. Dude, I was a disaster when I woke up that morning. I was hungover as shit. I was like fucking 20, 21 years old or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I remember being like, my mom called me and she's like, the World Trade Center's on fire. I was like, what? Goodbye. Like, yeah. like it just sounded to me like S- sounds she like wanted the- me to know because I was there the day before apartment hunting and I was downtown. I was like, ma, I'm not going to move into the World Trade. I don't care if there's a fire in the World Trade. You know, yeah, she didn't yeah, yeah. say the building had been hit by it. She just said there was a fire. She's like, did you see the news? And oh, I was like, God. I gotta go, ma. I gotta sleep. Your mom called you and said, did you hear the news? Yeah. That's she's awesome. Like, and so I was like, <laughs> you know, I went back to sleep and I woke up and then, you know, I heard the madness. But then I saw the the field in Pennsylvania. Yeah. And they said it was a plane crash. And I was like, what? Yeah. I was like, that looks like, that looks like somebody fucking scorched the earth. There's no plane. Yeah. Even I saw that, and I was literally—I won't use the word—I was not, I, you know, I was not mentally very uh, acute sure, at the time. Sure. Sure. Okay. And I was like, "There's no plane part. The fuck are they talking about? Yeah. Ridiculous. Even, yeah, you weren't even really trying to. No. <laughs> trying but it to looked end, like <laughs> I was like, "What much. are they talking about? This is not a plane crash. There's no planes." And you know, some <laughs> people are going to listen to this and watch this and be like, "Look at these conspiracy guys. Go look up everything we just said. I promise but you." Better yet, watch my special that's coming out. Watch the freaking special, guys. But seriously, everything we just said is not conspiracy. So just, just so you understand how ludicrous that uh, I res- listen. The guy's a pilot. I respect. Yeah. Him. We what we do, and this is human nature. Right. When when something happens, we will naturally put the pieces together in a way that makes sense to us. Okay, that's it. People saw the 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 towers fall down, and 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 no one was like, "Hey, wait a minute, why is it falling so fast?" You know what I mean? No, no you, you don't think like why that. Why is a fire and on a building that was designed to withstand literally what no, happened to it twenty times over, dude? How does over. that make the entire building fall? 20 times over. So I don't know. That's, that's another point, but, but just so you, just so you know, the next time you have this conversation, if you ever get, if you ever get a chance, um, ask the guy 
I think I'm supposed to meet him at Chaplin's tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can ask him yeah. wh why he thinks that um, this so-called pilot, this right. guy who couldn't fly a Cessna. Couldn't fly a Cessna. He, he fly failed a Cessna, his freaking Jumped test, into bro. a fucking commercial jet. Massive. And then... Pulled off maneuvers that Aren't, no a, one could do. The plane would have fallen apart. No, not a chance. Okay, there's a commercial jet could like cannot tween buildings and then, under the power so, lines into the fucking dude. Then he flew. <laughs> like I mean, not like these incredible fucking maneuvers. The yeah. dude dive bombed. Yeah. So so when you this is he was way over the VMO. That's the the maximum velocity operating capacity yeah. of that vehicle. Yep. Well over a hundred, re, reaching speeds over two hundred miles per hour. Above the VMO. Now the rule is never on a VMO. That means that if you go faster than that, even a little, the fucking plane is going to fall apart. <laughs> it's called a flutter phenomenon, and it's oh. a fact. It's part of physics, right? He talked about. You know what's crazy? So is, this oh, dude wow. dive bombed. I mean, there's the Pentagon. Okay. Yeah. Big old fucking giant. Yeah. Pentagon. That's the most building. concentrated amount of bureaucrats in the world. Now, Did you know that? In order for this guy, all, like all he had to do was. Aim straight down, but sure. but apparently he had to go. He Ooh. took it off autopilot. Yeah, took the controls. Failed his Cessna. Went all the way around. <laughs> yeah. dive bombed at fucking supersonic speeds. Makes no sense. Then flew at sea level at those same no. speeds. Impossible. Not not possible. Okay, yeah. and then instead of instead of hitting the giant bullseye of the building on top, right. He fucking. Came all the way down around and then flew into the little side. Guess what part of the building he hit? The part that had been recently reinforced with Kevlar and steel. What the experimental fuck? wing of the fucking Pentagon was all under remodeling. No one was Bro, in it. That's literally the plot. And I got an interview with a fucking NBC reporter who was in the Pentagon when the attacks wow. happened. He ran into a general who he had become friends with over the last 15 years of reporting from the wow. Pentagon. And that Pentagon, that official told him, he said, listen, Jake, whatever this guy's name was, he said, this is obviously a terrorist attack. Well coordinated. Yeah. NBC has a wing in the Pentagon. And that wing is in the what they call the E-ring, the outer E-ring. Okay. And he goes, we're probably going to be targeted next. If I was you, I'd stay out of the E-ring. And Listen, That's where they hit? Yeah. This that is an, literally this the was, plot of Designated Survivor, the first scene. 20 like minutes before it hit. He, he, they blow the building up and that's what they do. They reinforced it with so the one guy survived. That's literally the, like, we were talking about predictive programming earlier. I do think sometimes artists try and tell us things. Like we were talking yeah, about. Especially when they're executive produced by Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I liked that movie. That was a good little movie. <laughs> the one line in it that was complete BS is when the, when the, guy, the guy goes, uh, the scary part is no one's in control when these things happen. It's like, yeah, okay. And all, all the Teslas. <laughs> That's, you know, like, yeah, someone is in control. I hate to tell you that, man. Only but. the Teslas get hacked. That movie was just. Do you know you can. Oh, fun fact. Let's go down this one. Um, do you know who Angela Chow is? A Mitch McConnell's sister in law. Oh, the. the, the she drowned the, in her Tesla because she couldn't she apparently she was wasted drunk i don't care how drunk you are if you she, she managed to drive her car and then got this it was on her own property it backed into a pond she was unable oh to God. open the door and she drowned Dude. so do you know who she, she's what, on her own property do you know what's and company? drowned in a tesla yeah in a pond in a pond slowly sank and then like, Bill, but that's a billionaire chinese sank. yeah uh, billionaire uh, very connected ccp member and very connected to the republican party her sister well, was yeah, trump's like, trump's state of uh transportation her sister do you know what company she's ceo of no the company that was respond that owned the fucking barge that hit the baltimore bridge i th i thought silverstein she was the CEO. Was, so people are saying that Silverstein also was that. Is that is that? Fight? It's probably five different companies, right? It's yeah. like these conglomerates, but the mother company was Angela Chow's company. Oh my god! Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that fucked up, man. Like I honestly, that when I found that out, I was like, nothing, I don't even know what to suspicious. make of this. Like I don't even know what to make of this. But it's, she definitely, 
she definitely allegedly maybe was killed in that Tesla by being hacked and driven into it. But some, I have heard that Teslas are terrible in water because I mean, the doors do this auto lock thing. It seems like a fucking awful dis- design flaw, Elon. But still, I gotta dude, tell you. she's in her backyard. This is I like Obama's chef drowning. Oh, that was a weird one. Yeah, that, I nothing that. weird about it. That was a weird fucking, one. The dude was a great swimmer. Have you seen the video? <laughs> oh, no. He, he um, was a phenomenal swimmer, okay? Whenever you, read, like, whenever you read a story about these things and they make no logical sense whatsoever, yeah. and you have to look for this. Why because would they kill just, a chef, though? Like, why? What do you mean? If, you're, if you spend any amount of time with the Clintons or the Obamas, and you're going to hear something that, <laughs> that, that you probably shouldn't hear or see something you probably shouldn't have saw. And in the case of both Obamas and Clintons, the likeliness of you hearing or seeing something that will get you on that list yeah. is fucking huge. Especially if you're there, stay at home, live there. Well, he was chef. he was there for a long time, right? Like ten yeah. years or something. I guarantee yeah. you, he okay. was exposed. Okay, okay. Do Dude, you know that three out of the four witnesses? They said against- he died paddleboarding, bro. I know. I remember. I remember. They said he fell off his paddleboard and died. Maybe like hit his head. I don't okay. know why I'm playing devil's advocate right now, but it's just like, Dude, yeah. You- yeah, you know, maybe hit, somebody hit him. In the yeah, somebody head. hit him in the head. Give me a break. You Yo, gotta be did fucking... you know three out of four of the witnesses in the Kevin Spacey trials are dead? Yeah, <laughs> he's killing those motherfuckers, and then he and posts. Now, and now he posts the off. Frank. No under, yeah, he's off. He's good. He's good. He'll Amazing. probably work again. He made a video <laughs> called "Kill Them with Kindness" the day after one of them died, and he oh, pretended yeah. to be Frank Underwood from House of Cards. Yeah. I'm more scared of Kevin Spacey than I am of the CIA. <laughs> I honestly mean oh, that. he's tied into the CIA. Probably. Probably. He's very much connected with, with the royals, too. Big royal guy. Oh, yeah. him, and, him and Prince Andrew probably were good buddies. I'm sure. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Speculation. Well, we know Prince Andrew was friends with Billy Clinton. Oh, we know they were all and rolling Jeffrey deep. Epstein. Did you know that Epstein uh, might have been the one that suggested the Clinton Foundation? That That's something I found in uh, the uh, in those the, documents they released. The Clintons were, were do a foundation. That's when... when when you do the work of the deep state and, yes. and the oligarchs, you're rewarded with a foundation. It is your it is your nest egg into a into a potential oligarchy membership yourself. Found now, what a foundation does is is it, al- it allows money. them <laughs> to have unscrutinized, you know, tax free right. money right. at their disposal. Do they have to give some away? Yeah, Bill Gates does it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, Bill Gates has given his whole fortune away. Oh, all of his Again, money is gone. But, but he's still the third richest man in the planet. Every fucking day, Bill Gates gives all his monies that away. Guy's smug and is still the richest look. dude on the planet. I was like, how does this work again? Because I'm your going headline to pay myself says, one dollar a year. You know, speaking of misinformation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> how did Bill give his money away seventeen times and still? B, number three it's on that funny list. Funny how that works. Funny and thing still, how that works. Like, and, and these guys are fucking gophers, man. They're, they're, yeah, I know. You know, I got that part right. Bill Gates is, he's their fucking whipping boy. I mean, there's this little small 0.00001% of me that almost feels bad for him ha. because he is definitely their bitch, you know? I mean, like, you think he enjoys having to parade out in front of everyone and sell the lies that he's given? You can't know, like, be easy. It can't. I mean, you know, he knows he's lying. Like, I, it makes a lot of sense. They all know they're lying. It makes, it makes a lot of sense to release a bunch of mosquitoes that are intended to stop malaria in America and Canada when we don't have malaria. <laughs> Just saying. You don't even fucking. I mean, like, you guys why, man? I remember. I have Canada, pictures. They I have don't pictures. Get fucking sun. <laughs> I have pictures uh, of of them releasing these things from helicopters last year. I it's mean, fucking atrocious. It's scary. It's to- I don't want anything near me. That no the, more Bill Gates bugs has genetically that you guys modified. have fucking made. Please, you already created Listen, Lyme disease Canada, out at Montauk. Like we know, y'all made those. But your with fucking Lyme government disease. rolls over and yeah, it, like, a, like. What a, else are we gonna do though? What would we do if America invaded? Say us? no. Have some fucking. You moral guys will scruples. just come in and take us. Bullshit. It's Listen, already happened. Canada has been. Part Actually, of- we did burn the White House down back in 1812. Good for you, then. Did you know? Well, chalk one on your belt. Thank you. No, no, Americans don't know these things. We know these things, yeah. No, are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. The uh, education system's doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Rockefeller. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, no but, they uh, want to take more books out of school. Like, it's funny. That's another thing. I fucking, it's another sign. Well, anybody. dude, that's that's a key part of yeah. the, Always. the strategy. Every the, the, fascist dictatorship, whatever yeah. you want to call it, starts with one thing. The suppression of freedom that's of speech, right. suppression of art every time. Every time. Suppress, I mean, a religion eventually. Eventually. Although they're some, using it as a weapon this time, it yeah, seems. There are some hybrid hybrids that are out there where, you know, you see the allowance of religion because it, it allows them 
you know, particularly in some countries in Africa that are in part Muslim right. or in part, you know, very Christian. strict Christian. Well, it um, teaches you, right? You, you, if you break the law. Then they're like, you, you can't hang your hand out the window or you'll get arrested. Sure. You can't stand in front of that statue or you have to pay those cops money. There's a lot like, to it, right? Why am I here again? What's happening? <laughs> uh, it's convenient. It's like in the Bible, right? It's like, listen, live humble. Don't be jealous. Yeah. Because if you're jealous, that's spiteful and you go to hell. Yeah. So just be humble. And after you die conveniently, I always thought it was very convenient for the people that had everything, the rich. Right. I'm like, that's great. So yeah, just wait. Don't, don't, don't you dare be jealous. Don't steal from them. Right. Don't you do anything. S stay in your damn place. And after you die, you get that's rewarded, about, right? And it also teaches you from the get-go not to break the rules. Yep. You, you follow, if you don't follow the law, you go to hell. Hell, it's hell, jail. That's it. It's as simple as that. Religion is a product of government. Yep. Yeah, separation of church and state, okay. my ass. The, <laughs> like, always. It, it always has been and always will be. Yeah. Um, and and the, the notion that there's any degree of separation oh. is, is, is an illusion. Why do we pretend? You know, why do we even say that? The Vatican is, is if that's part the way, parcel. You it, know, the Vatican is, yeah. is one third of the deal. Yeah. You got the Vatican in in fucking Vatican City. Yes. You have DC and you have London. And, and there's something very, very special about all three of these places. Um, they're the money, the guns, and the brains sure. of the fucking new world order. Yes, sir. You know? And all hail. You know, they they recognize that religion has a place because where they fail, they can tell the pope, "Hey, you got to make an announcement, man." You yep. know. Um, yep. And and that if the one of the popes says no, they'll fucking find one that says yes. You know, the popes come and go as well. Um, pope's got to go. I got a real problem with. I'm I'm, I'm unfortunately I'm biased in the worst way okay uh, you know as a former catholic and someone who you know had was made to feel guilty about touching myself as a teenager I, right. I will always That's resent right. <laughs> that fucking lunacy and like i was telling you on the phone, it's like, bro, it's like purposely repressing like male and, and then they wonder why they have they a, wonder, a no, pedo bro, no shit you know? no shit i mean you can't do that that you, whenever no. you go against nature, nature is going to just have let the, the priests last have sex. Let them get laid, guys. If what I is recall, this? It's so hard. Anglicans, priests. I'm Anglican. I was an altar boy in the choir. Actually. I was an altar boy for twelve, Gosh. eight years, nine years. We got that altar boy power, son. Let's go. But me, uh, me and my twin, dude. Me, we're, I we were identical. Have a twin. Yeah, yeah. We used to fight. Like so, you know, we'd fight at every yeah. opportunity. But yeah, yeah. one of us would you switch. We thought it was our my turn to ring the bell, and that motherfucker would reach for it, and I'd be uh. like. He'd be like, eh, eh. Quick and jab. all of a sudden, we'd, we'd be like kneeling. The priest would be trying to do the communion thing, and Kicking him and I would be like, eh, eh. we'd be. <laughs> and the, 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 the priest would just be like, look at us. We'd be like, sorry, Children. it's my turn to ring. No. <laughs> did you ever, yo? Did you ever switch? Like, did you ever pretend he was the altar boy when it was supposed to be you? We always were made to serve together. Ah, uh, we look like fucking bookends up okay, there. Okay, people okay. People were like, no, just make them do all of the the ceremonial masses, like. Christmas mass and fucking sure. all the special masses like great. We Gotta have them all. It, Gotta have them all. We used to go back and we would drink the wine and <sighs> that's crazy. <laughs> Don't, that that church wine is terrible too for y'all that have not had when you're the, 14. No, no, but I just mean like it's like oh man, I just remember and they give you that that wafer thing and you're like this tastes like yeah. ass and now it the wine taste tastes like anything. <laughs> it actually goes good with wine. No, maybe you guys had the high class wafers. I had these things that were like not even <laughs> yeah, rice you were cakes. Ang you yeah, you Anglican. Yeah, yeah we call it right. Catholic light. Yeah, that's you what You see, happened. King Henry wanted to bang someone other than his wife. Yeah, I know. I remember. So that's why my religion exists. <laughs> that's just straight the, up. That's, that's why. That's awesome. Yeah. So you know what? I don't you guys. Fuck you guys. Yeah. I'm going to, hey, off with your head, on yeah. to the next one. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, that tells you all you need to know about religion no kidding i know it really uh, does i know that's a cynical view and like i said i mean it when i say i do think i'm going to re reinvestigate my spirituality spirituality yes is the key word yeah you can be spiritual you, you don't necessarily need to be religious religious doesn't have much doctrine tolerance. that's like you said it's political doctrine it's, dogma. it's, it's pro it's pro it's a uh, propaganda there's a lot of fear-mongering show me a religion that doesn't have fear-mongering okay uh, like, like hinduism maybe maybe yeah. um hinduism may be one of the few yeah you know but Catholicism, I don't really but know. But even Hinduism gets corrupted. Look at the caste system in, in oh, India. Yeah, Fucking disgusting, right? So all that shit comes from somewhere, man. Uh, you so know. I lived, uh, I lived through two earthquakes. By the way, I almost forgot that Did that you? happened. Yeah, in New York City. What? Wait, like what last was the other week, one? they have both happened that day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
what do you think happened there? Sorry to switch it up, but I, I, I got these things written down and I don't want to forget them. We got, man, we're going we're gonna to have a two hour podcast after all this. But yeah, what do you think happened with the New York City? Because it is the biggest earthquake that ever happened in 140 years. And I asked multiple people, I was like, I was like, have you, you've lived here, oh, you lived here my, your whole yeah. life. Has this ever happened before? Did you ever feel an earthquake when you were in New York City I for felt, 22 years? I felt maybe w there was one time there was a tremor that I thought maybe I felt. Okay. But yeah. I, but I wasn't sure. I was okay. like, okay. And then I was like, wait a minute. Did I feel it when that happened? I don't fucking know. I yeah. literally rolled over. I woke up to the first one. Excuse me. Woke up and then I just I started shaking. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the yeah. fuck? And I stopped and I rolled over and went yeah. back to bed. So, I mean, and then my phone blew up and I was like, I guess I, I got to report I this. I should report this considering <laughs> I'm at the epicenter. I'm in it, yeah. But so, do you know where the epicenter was? Where? Trump's golf course in New Jersey. Oh, my God. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's hilarious. What do you make of that? Um. Well, I'd have to see. It's literally right on it. See, I'll so show you. Let me, I, I will say this. It's okay? right on it like if a bullseye. If you think that they don't have the capacity to cause an earthquake, oh, they do. again, you're living in fantasy land. Okay? They can deny it all day, but this technology is fucking old. Very real. It's old. They literally do it by fracking all the time. You know, um, Whether that's intentional I mean, and or that's not. A, that's a, and that's a, that's a physical... They have ways to do it where you know they don't need to... They can use... Very advanced technology. Sure. Acoustics. Or maybe Trump's uncle um, there had the Tesla machine. Maybe, yeah, I doubt I it. I doubt that. No, I do doubt that. I mean, that. he was, a, he was a, a gopher for the fucking, the agency he was working for. Anyway, that's right. Yeah, you know? that's right. But that's all part of the Trump lore. Baron, Baron Von Trump. We don't have to get into it, but if y'all want a weird rabbit hole, that's a good one. You ever seen that one? Just, oh, the the time the book, yeah, yeah, the books. That is fucking very one curious. It's funny. One of my, uh, I, I mean, I, I, I people ask me all the time. People are like, you know, you know, you never make videos about Trump. You know, it's like you have a soft spot for him. I'm like, it's not that I have a soft spot for him. Right. A, I started making these videos after he was out of office. Yeah, he's not in office. B, you know, while he was in office, I don't know if you noticed, but there was an entire fucking campaign of coordinated character assassination and false, you know, uh, accusations, impeachments. I mean, yeah. It was relentless. Yep. I lived in New York City, which was the fucking epicenter for that shit storm every day everywhere. People hate him there you know? in New York City. Oh my god. I mean, like, they I, either they either love him or hate him, I guess. Yeah, yeah cuz he's got the Trump Towers and all that. A but. lot of people now have realized, you know, it's like the the effect some of the effects of the of the propaganda machine have worn off because he's not there all the time for them to be like, well, Trump just did something racist. And you know, the, 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 the constant, <sighs> they, they call it, um, I think it's referred to as like, you know, outrage porn or, <sighs> a, you know, in like in the case of Israel, they use atrocity porn sure, tactics, you know, sure. and that is where you like, you know, it, the most atrocious, Raping and beheading that's babies, right, that's all right. that, and, yeah, any, know, everything like that. You know, they can that that's the, that's going to be their first go to yeah. foot forward, yeah. so that you know that what they do next is justified. You know, yeah. and so with but with Trump, it was all hate mongering, yeah, and the emotional manipulation was they were very effective, yep. you know, um, and they just kept reinforcing it and reinforcing it and reinforcing it, and then when it comes time to get people to. This is just my theory, everyone. Yeah, yeah. This, this is just speculation. This is my allegedly, speculation. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. But when you get people that emotional, particularly in an angered state, sure. And then you turn to them and you say, "I need you to do this on election day." Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. It's literally. It's, uh, it's and if you do, you'll be saving our country. Do you do? You, do you think it's a stretch for them to have coordinated something like that when they have everyone in such a frothing? emotional no, I think it's exactly you know what, what they're doing they're exactly what they're doing it's called new age politics it's something I talked to you uh, talked to you about last night people make jokes about the fact that it's an election year so obviously things are going to go bad that's a sign your democracy might be broken as fuck. Yeah, no I just got to tell you, like, that's not how it should work. No. If anything, it should get better during an election year. Yeah. They should be trying to help you more. Anyways, we've lost all that, obviously. Dude. Doesn't mean we can't get it back. Vote independent. They trick you. They, they say, because I got to be honest with you guys, Republican, Democrat, two sides of the same shit coin. You want to know how I know that? Because I worked for the liberals and conservatives. Yeah. I worked for both sides. You know, not many people have done that, my friend. I did. Totally. I saw where the money comes from. It comes from the same place. 
Both they, sides they, are funded by the same people. Do you are you hearing me, everyone? No, you can tell them that all day, but it doesn't matter. No, like they don't this get is, it. This Foss. is part they of the don't identity. Get it? Do you understand? Like it's like, man, nothing's gonna change. They tell you. No, there you can't. Listen, vote independent. They tell you the independents can't win. That is a trick. That if is we all voted the... for them, they would win yeah. if we had fair, fair elections. Anyways, I don't know if those and, exist and, anymore either. And, <laughs> and I question whether we have enough integrity left. It's at least a scary here in America, thing to admit. You know? I don't know either. Um, because as long as it's hackable. Yeah. I mean, you don't even need to hack Go it. Back. All you need Canada to do is. Canada does ballots. We still count our ballots. I mean, almost. And they're Everyone like, you know, should it would do cost that. like four hundred million no, if they wanted take the hand it count. Back I was to like, the hand oh, counted really? Ballot. Isn't that what we gave Ukraine yesterday? <laughs> That's what we gave them this or morning. Or Israel the day the, before? Like, come on. So, so, so we can give that away every day to a foreign country to fight a war that ha has no effect on us whatsoever. It's insane. But we can't secure the integrity of our voting system with it. <sighs> it's a joke. Because four hundred million would would what? Would stress our budget or would stress our debt? Are you? Is this a serious argument? Listen, it's so frustrating. People have cheated so fucking frustrating. from from the, the the conception of quote democracies and republics. Yeah. That but yeah. you minimize cheating in every way you can. People are always going to try to cheat. But if you have fucking eight redundancy <gasps> plans in place and you have hand counted ballots and you have ways to watch all those People would people would volunteer yeah. a because they might want to try to cheat themselves. But when you have so many people in place, now you've restored at least a fucking modicum of possible integrity in your voting system. Sure. But right now, we ain't got nothing like it. Okay, it's nothing. not looking good. It's not looking. We're doing you, great though. Everything's fine. Hey, eh? the dog <laughs> meme just nothing to see nothing. here. Yeah. So remember, did you see Naked Gun? Yeah, that's well, <laughs> that, that guy's Canadian. That guy's oh, great. Is he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, oh, yeah. he was the best, dude. He's Shit, different. actually, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. Anyways, yes, great movie. Leslie uh, Nielsen, is that his name? Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, yeah. I think he is. Do your own research. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's such a good cop out. It's like, I don't know, guys. Listen, Go do your own research. Source, bro? Yeah, source? learn it. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Dude, eh? I get that. Source. It's like, uh, well, this was sent to me by someone in Israel, you know, filming uh, protests. So, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't, The media, it's like, do you want me to provide a source that the main, like, it's, what are we doing here? You right. said, people criticize, it's like, how can I source it to you if you don't believe the meat either? Like, how do you want me to do this? Be like, but the, you the, didn't need a source for the every best, other idiotic thing you believe in your life. The best stories come from the grassroots people that yeah. send me direct messages. Yeah. Those are the most, and, and those and are, videos. Too. And I believe those more than yeah. anything. And like, frankly, obviously, I, I still have to. You like, obviously, you have to try and use the media as best you can. You have, you need several sources. You need Reddit. You need to read the comment section. Yeah, you need to go you through do. the comment section to see what the people are actually That's saying. That's right. Because someone Every knows. Time. And and I do you. I, and I love people who are smart enough to know this and who who take the time. The people who read. Listen, I, love I understand. People. There's people that don't have time to do it. I, I do. I'm not no, trying to judge or shame people. We. If you have a family, if you have lives, I get it, guys. Um, yeah. No, just, listen, just, you're, just, you're just, absolutely right. It's a good point to make. Just be open to the fact that, yeah, they are selling you lies, and it's it's easier to just accept them and live your life, and life is hard but enough, crazy, and, I, and I understand that. You know, I just want to make that clear for Like, you. Uh, I'll post a video about the fact that, yeah. that George Bush's father was literally having lunch. Shout out Prescott. You know, not Prescott. Oh, wait, George. Her Herbert when he was alive. Oh, Herbie. Yeah, old, old Herbie. <laughs> Herbie was having breakfast in D.C. with Osama bin Laden's brother. Yes. When the, the Twin Towers the were very first very moment, hit. yes. Um, and, and people will be like, source, bro. And I'm source, like, bro. Um, so, so, and I have, and I have, a, I have a rule on that. You know, if it's something that is obscure yeah. and difficult to find, then I will include a source or a link sure. in my caption. Yeah. But if it's something that's been like public Definitively knowledge. Definitively proven, yes. And well known pictures, for like 20 fucking, fucking years. Pictures of it, I'm Then sure. I don't include a source. Yeah. And when I point that out to people, they're like, that's what I thought. I'm like, dude. Nice, nice just, checkmate, bud. Yeah, you got me. You got me, I'm bud. just going to make a bold claim like this. Hey, look. I mean, like, I'm like... <sighs> I know. Oh, I feel the frustration on the side of the table, my man. Okay, what do you make about the 80-foot waves? Did you see that stuff? No. Ooh, what okay, my man. Waves? So there was, yeah, exactly. So uh, there was a buoy off the southern coast of Africa that dive-bombed. It was activated. It went into event mode. 
and it went down 4,000 meters. And then it came back up and it was up uh, quite a significant amount. There, it was reading 80 foot waves on all these different sites. They are saying it was a uh, simulation data hack breach or something. So it, I think that must be true because otherwise a fucking tsunami would have happened. It would have been a tsunami. But yeah. um, it had to, it, so nothing happened, thank God. <sighs> I don't know, man. Guys, like I'm honestly, I have been sent uh, some some extra info on that. I got to look into myself uh, when I have time tonight. But like, I don't know, man. What would make the boot? Because everything makes sense. Like, fair enough, you know. Okay, the, yeah. there was no tsunami, so okay. But why did that buoy do what it did? I mean, if why it, did that? Why did it do that? Where was the buoy located? Right off the southern tip of Africa, southwest. So, uh, so that's some of the most treacherous and unpredictable seas. Is that right on the planet? I mean, I was thinking, like, could a shark have fucking grabbed the thing and dragged it down? Like, no, uh, no. The okay. kraken could have. Kraken could have, yeah, for real. Megalodon, no fucking uh, Megalodon, could have. Cthulhu, yeah. No. But, uh, but no, no shark. What about an have. underground? What about an underwater detonation? I mean. It wouldn't have caused that kind of erratic behavior. But like maybe the, you know, I'm just picturing like it'd be like, and then there would probably be like a suck, suction thing. I don't know. Not, not, not for a sense. buoy, bro. Not for a buoy. Yeah, see, I don't know. So I, I mean, so people don't know what happened there. Something you know, that happened. That part in Jaws where the, the, the shark yeah. pulls down three buoys. Yeah. Not possible. No. <laughs> Interesting. No, maybe for a. What was the megalodon? For a, for a few minutes, but. Well, so you here's, know. The, here's the theory. I mean, do you know the amount of energy a fish would have to generate in order to keep a buoy underwater. Man, swimming is hard as hell. I can just you know, say that. As I powerful that. as yeah. they are, yeah. they would burn through their, their energy. They would so, never be able to. So, I mean, think about fishing. When you hook, when you hook a fish and you're fighting it, even an, an hour later, that, that fish is fighting a line. It's not even fighting the, the buoyancy of a fucking, you know, yeah. of a, a, a Something that was right, made it's floating, yeah, you know, yeah, true. And it's it's just fighting a line. It's trying to go down, and okay, you're giving you've, it. You convinced me it you know? didn't get dragged by a shark. Um, listen, <laughs> the uh, prevailing one I'm seeing is uh, obviously people just going with the standard story. Yeah, uh, you know, guys, nothing to fear here, just a data thing, uh, data hack. But w there's people talking about a meteor strike in Antarctica, and maybe a massive chunk has fallen off somewhere. Uh, I mean, I, I'm obviously it's unable, it's very hard to substantiate anything in an Antarctica because yeah. no one's allowed to go there. Right. Um, so, well, you're allowed to go around Antarctica. <sighs> I and I think. always see people say, oh, actually, I'm pretty sure Iran claimed Antarctica this year, by the way. Did you know that? It's already claimed anyway. But well, it's, it's straight up. That's like, it's like, oh, okay, you guys want it? The, okay. uh, the Rothschilds have their own little portion of it. Every, basically, I mean, I did a whole special in Antarctica, too. You'll have to watch. When you did get you, have, did you do like the, the satellite map into the weird room with all the stuff on the wall? Oh, I saw, I saw you know that, I'm too. Talking about? I, yeah. I, I saw that video. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I reposted that video. People are like, uh, Google Earth doesn't do that. I was like, yeah, I told you. I, I prefaced this video. Job. It's a you know. straight up troll oh, job. Oh, it is. Totally. Just but, like but this there whole is something going on in the Antarctica. Oh, there's buddy Hitler sent uh, his, uh, his whole friggin' navy there at one point, yeah. and we did too. Yeah, I know. America did as well. I do a lot of. T I talk a you lot. You know this about, stuff. Yeah. I enjoy that. Absolutely, I enjoy that. People are like, oh, I'm like, what do you think we were well, doing? Hitler, Hitler really wanted to find the Holy Grail. Like that's not a that Indiana Jones is not made up like in that regard. Like they were trying to find it. Hitler really did believe in all the sacred Jesus uh, voodoo shit. I mean, it's funny because he outlawed secret societies. With the exception of one, Thule Society, uh -huh. because the Thule Society was made up of the aristocratic, very very wealthy um, German families that sure. that were. There was a mixed bag because the Thule Society was a spiritual society, yeah. But they believed in the Hyperborean legend that people live in the middle of the planet, and they were oh, they were in touch with them, and shit. so they they they. While they saw the socialist movement that Hitler was part of, they did not anticipate it would turn into the violent, destructive war machine that it did. But they were going to work with Hitler, and and this, they were so. Meanwhile, they were communicating with because Germany was already sending expeditions to Antarctica starting in 1903, first oh, one in wow. 1903, right? So, so do you think there's a passage right to the center of the Earth in Antarctica? I mean, I think the center of the Earth. Or the underlayer, oh, like the absolutely. under shell. Apparently, there's rivers and lakes under there too. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I can tell you that, that if you go a mile down, yeah, in Antarctica, yeah, you won't have to bring your snow clothes because it's beautiful. It's the volcanic activity in Antarctica is now 
it's been proven. It's the, it's the most active um, what the and fuck? volcanic, I didn't most know populated volcanic uh, region on the planet. Second to none. I was unaware of this. And so once you're a mile down, and we know now from like, you know, um, what do they call that? Late, late, later scan, like the new radar they have. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all hollow. It's all, it's all a honeycomb. It's all like a beehive. What the fuck? You know, so, what the so fuck? if you could get a mile under the sea, like by submarine, sure, you would have no problems being comfortable and setting up shop there. Let me just say Interesting. that. Interesting. Okay? So if you took a submarine to avoid the frigid conditions and the, the yeah. treacherous weather of the surface area, and you found a way to get in a mile down, you would be pretty comfortable unloading and making yourself at home without having to worry about freezing to death. Oh, well, you know, it, uh, we talked about the Y files. Shout out Hecklefish. Mm -hmm. Where's our invite, guys? Bring us on. We'd be great. Yeah, yeah, come on. Let's go. I would love to collab with those guys for real. But anyways, he talks about uh, the story of the, the pilot flying over and seeing the green, luscious land growing. Yep. Beautiful. And then they, he was told very sternly yeah, by some, listen, some agents never to talk about it. Uh, you know, so, you know so, 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 yeah, it's obviously that never happened, guys, okay? Don't nothing even to dare. see here. Move along. Move along. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, you know, he came back from Antarctica very traumatized after they yeah, got Yeah, because he, he saw some shit, and you know, then they fucking probably they tortured him a little bit. Annihilated. But, but this, and this is what, Allegedly, allegedly, alleged. You can always garner... The, the closest thing to truth when you can get it after it just happened, you know? So interesting. Obviously yeah. like, like a dream almost I like guess. the day after, yeah. like the, the day Roswell <laughs> happened, the headline that ran the following day, that's what, that's what the report, that's what happened. You know yeah. what I mean? As far as everyone. It was not could, a kite. It wasn't <laughs> a weather balloon. <laughs> weather balloon. Sorry. Yeah. You know? It wasn't a fucking weather balloon. But you, you, but you have to go back to that first, you know? And so uh, while bird was on his way home, he stopped in, uh, it was, uh, I think it was Chile. Uh, he gave a, he gave a, you know, and they were like, oh, you know. What happened? Yeah. What, what, what the, you know, you guys were supposed to be gone for months and it's only been a couple of weeks. What, what happened and what's wrong with you? You know, um, he gave a interview and, and he was like, we're in a lot of trouble. You know, this, Jesus Christ. This, this is, uh, this is bad. You know, the, the this, this force that's there has the capacity to move pole to pole not that's within that's the hours, that's the thousand minutes. foot tsunami guys if you're not aware of what that would mean if that happened you know uh, you know well and they were talking about that because by then the german um breakaway had been taken in and made part of the existing civilization that's and, what i've heard and they yeah, have that's what i've know, heard these that, craft that there's maybe some nazis up there still to this day I'm sure there is, you know. That's scary. Um, and and underground from Antarctica all the way into South America, and I'm sure that they found a way to connect it. You know, all north, you can get anywhere in North America underground. Yeah, within fucking, I, I was aware of that. You know, yeah. they have the Mount Shasta. You can start at Mount Shasta, yeah. go to the Denver airport, baby, right to the Pentagon. Let's they, go. They got tunnels everywhere. Yes, yeah. they do. Um, and there was a lot of existing tunnels there as well, but I don't know, man. What else? Wait, it's for the crab people. Crab. It, no, people. the ant people. Ant people. <laughs> <laughs> I got. Uh, I mean, I got one thing written down. One more thing. I want to get to with you, my my yeah, friend. Right. Um, apparently, uh, there's some something going on in Israel or something. I don't know. Did you hear anything about that? I mean, I know something's happening. Obviously, but, guys, this is. Uh, you know, I'm never one to talk about stuff. Like no, that. God forbid. <laughs> there's certain things you really got to be. You got to be careful about talking about, about. So it's like twelve hours. Um, podcasting about the uh, what the problem with the Israeli government is who, yeah. who actually started it do you mean the government that's been under investigation for corruption for th two years three years that yeah. they're literally going to jail Netanyahu a couple months ago and now just a big old oh oops do sex mocking oh it's him. not like they knew about the October 7th attack a year before it happened and had a 40 page document that yeah. outlined everything from the paragliders how did those missiles not get through if the paragliders got through my friend anyways what am I saying just what like 9-11 Kind of funny. Kind of funny. And then eh? Israel said, this is our 9-11. Yeah. So, just so no, you know. They said that today. And well, that's those fantastic. of us who, who no one, yeah. traffic in uh, you know, actual history are like, yeah, we <sighs> already like, know it's oh, your 9-11. Yeah, we, know it's, we know what we know, that means. As soon as we saw the headlines, we knew it was your 9-11. Listen, here's the thing I just want to say. We don't need to do this, guys. We don't need to do it. 
I'm yeah. just going to say it. If you don't mind me just speaking Go directly, it, like Go for it. all anyone wants in the world across Canada, America, Cuba, Brazil, Egypt, Iran, Israel, Russia, Ukraine, anyone you talk to when you boil it down, what do they want? They want a good chance for a decent life. They want to think that if they have kids, that those kids have a decent chance to have a good life, a fair chance at it. That's all we're asking here. They have taken that from us. And now they want us to fight each other because they have amassed so much debt that it will never be paid. That is the hundred year cycle. All our grandparents that fought in World War II are dead. So we have forgotten the, the horror of yeah. it. The re it happens every hundred years because we lose the soldiers that fought that said never again. Yeah. Remember lest we forget, we're forgetting. And Wait. you're about to steamroll into it again, guys. And it fucking breaks my heart. And I mean that. And when it comes to that, I, I know it's complicated. I know there's nuance to every conflict in the world. There's real hatred out there. There's bad people out there. But guess what? We outnumber those people. Yeah. And we especially outnumber the 1%. When we say 1%, it's actually the 0.1%. Yeah, it's really. 100 million to one. Yeah. It would be over in a day. We don't even have to be violent. I'm just saying we just need to say no. That's right. I want to stress that. I'm not advocating for violence. I'm advocating for passiveness. Yeah. That's more powerful. That non, is way non more powerful. Non-compliance, baby. Just say no. Non-compliance. It's going to suck. Yeah. It's going to be scary. And the first ones that say no probably will have to face, some, you know, it's, it, yeah. I don't know. It's not fair. I'm willing to. I'll try. But not, if everyone does, if <sighs> everyone know. is on the same page and if everyone is informed, then it won't be. I mean, they're going to try and divide there us is so this, bad. Something horrible is coming. There by is the way. This day, it's going to be terrible. You know how Italy had a very prolonged lockdown. Yes. You know? They were crazy. You know, the word there. fascist comes from the Italians. Shout out Mussolini. Yeah. Mussolini. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's why they gravitated towards Hitler in no Germany, yeah. even though they were like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, was Go for coffee. <laughs> um, but they also knew about the program because one of Germany's test UFOs crashed in Italy. Oh. And the, and the Italian government found it and the Germans were like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Hold up. You cannot tell anyone. We're and buddies so now. <laughs> they, they thought, you know, the, the, the Italians thought that, well, if they have this technology, then they could they can probably win the war. Right. So they ended up siding with them, not just because they were aligned, uh, but that was part of the reason why Mussolini was like, oh, fuck it, we'll throw a lot in with this. I never with them. knew that. I never but knew that. So yeah, Hitler Hitler never really, was, he was making sauces, He didn't get right? access. Well, he tried. Yeah. But they didn't give him the technology. Part of the deal that they had, uh, the Thule Society made with, with the Antarctica civilization was, you cannot use this for war. And the moment the war came, they said, you got to get it out. You got to bring it. You where you go, bring it here. In fact, you can come here yourself. You're gonna send me down so many rabbit holes, you know, bro. I'm already in my head. I'm gonna have to start writing all these things down. Hit, I want to look into because that because they had already colluded with Hitler and they were getting funding from the German government. Right. Hitler was like, "Where are you going? Right. Wait, wait. Uh, bring that back here. I want to mount a gun on that." Yeah. And and they were like, "Oh yeah, yeah. okay. Um, uh, get, get, get the plans out yeah. of here. Get go. So scram, so scram. You, know, you see these things and you know the the quote debunkers." will tell you that you the know, fact his, his UFOs wouldn't fly. Yeah. And they and that's because a lot of them they were made by his people, not not the people who were making them. They tried to replicate they, it. They, they tried to replicate yeah. what was brought to Antarctica. Interesting. And Argentina. Interesting. Interesting. Um, and they got everything out, including Hitler, as far as I'm concerned. I was never one to believe this. The Argentina theory and all that? Yeah, yeah. 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 And and I, I, I I was always like, isn't it a on, woman's skull? Only... Isn't isn't it a woman's skull that's in that? Uh, Probably. Tim Kennedy believes it. He he told me he's like, yeah, it's not a, it's not Hitler's skull. I mean, here's the thing. I first of all, I fucking I'm I'm willing to bet any amount of money it's not Hitler's skull. Okay, but how do you verify that anyway? That's a good question too. How yeah. do you even know? Do we have his other it's bones like a, yeah. to compare it to? No. Interesting. Do we have a fucking? <laughs> we don't have. Sh Interesting. Anyway, I would have. I never believed. Anything like that? I was, I was always like, that's of course, that's that's too conspiracy theorist, sure, even for me, sure. But then I was going through these files uh, in my JFK research, and I found this cache of documents that was put out in a in a FOIA, yeah. you know, dump, sure. And they got so much stuff that I'm sure they can't go through all of it. But amongst them, in a microfilm, was a report submitted by an FBI agent in 19. 54. Oh man. And it it was a spotting that that he had 
made in Colombia. Wow. Um, and, and it was a report that he wrote, and he took a picture um, of who he believed was Adolf Hitler. No shit. S- sitting with another man who he recognized. I can't remember his name. One Hitler his. was smoking something. I don't know if it was a cigar or a cigarette. Yeah. But um, there he was, you know. I mean, the report. I mean, you can't, you know. The picture has been microfilmed and recorded. The, sure. the whole report is, is a legitimate report from an FBI wow. agent who believed... With all his faculties, sure. So much to the point that he fucking busted out a camera in 1954 and was like, "Yeah, that's the guy." <laughs> and then you know, the government was like, "Yes, we know he's there. Shut the." And fuck And then up. the government didn't. This, the FBI didn't throw away the report. No, nope. they filed it and they kept it. I thought. I guess they figured it was harmless enough, but they should keep a record of it. <laughs> At least we know Hitler was a on fucking hiatus from his underground fucking stay in Colombia in 1954, yeah. smoking a cigar. Yeah. yeah, I have yeah. that picture. I, I feature it in one of my videos. The one about That's Antarctica. Excellent. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, there's, you know, do you know where PR came from? Public relations? Yeah. No. Came from Sigmund Freud's nephew, I believe. Uh, oh, really? There's this documentary on YouTube you can watch called Century of Self. I okay. highly recommend it. But PR was crafted after uh, German propaganda. No shit. They figured out a way. They're like, okay, how can we convince people to oh, buy yeah. shit they don't fucking need? <laughs> or w- is not good for them. And it's and obviously, I don't have to elaborate too much, but Sigmund Freud's nephew was of a particular political party that we were at war with. Yeah. So. Makes perfect sense. You're like, they're here. They're everywhere. They permeated the, the, the societies around the world even after they lost the war. So did they lose the war? I don't really know anymore. I don't really know. I I, I, honestly, I think that... And my grandpa fought in that war, and I got no time for Nazis in no. my comments. I got no time for anti... Like, any no, of that. I don't like too. it from any side. I want to make that very clear. I don't agree with what Israel is doing, me but either. if you come at me with some anti-Semitic bullshit, I'm going to put you in your place real quick. I'm the same way. And people, right? people come at me... You know, I, I did a video about Ford, about Henry Ford. We we're talking yeah. about this, and people, people don't understand that Henry Ford was a belligerent. Oh, some people understand, but he was a belligerent anti-Semite. Yeah, terrible he was person. Very, he was, you know, Hitler and Ford were, were were buddies. They were chums, and and Henry Ford was so he built uh, weapons for them up until 1943. He, he built he built mo- vehicles, vehicles, yeah, vehicles. And he gave them phenomenal deals. Yes. Um, factories all over the place you know, in Germany. They were, they were very, very chummy. Yes. And, um, and then one of his factories got bombed in Germany. And of course yes. he sued the United States government. The allied forces. You yeah. know, and won. He won the lawsuit, <laughs> people. Did you hear what we just said? We asked him politely. The president's like, yeah, Henry, can you please stop yeah. building cars for our enemies four years into the war? Okay, great. And then he sued us. By us, I mean you, the taxpayer, and won the lawsuit yep. for bombing his German factories, which were being used to, to kill you. Yeah, and, and to kill to Jews. To kill, yes. So, you know, in one video, I have, I have people telling me- That should be the me, first thing they teach you know, in history class. So yeah. That should be the first oh, thing. Oh, man. They don't touch that. No, are you kidding me? <laughs> um, but people are like- that's why I buy Ford. And I'm like, what? What? You know, <laughs> that's insane. Like, yeah. That's so unhinged, bro. I'm, like, look. They're like, you believe in the... I was like, dude. That's crazy. Dude, they were <laughs> using Jewish people for slave labor. Yes. They were rounding up innocent families all yeah. across no fucking Europe. No family deserves that. No human deserves that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and then they were working them to death and then fucking scorching them. I was no like, shit. what are you talking about? This no has shit. been well documented. My grandpa and was there. Like, there. There's like, no proof. There's no proof yeah. it happened. I was like, yeah, you can read the testimony of our soldiers who went in and saw those camps. That's what I'm saying. That's why we're in the situation where they're all gone and we for- have, we have forgotten. And it's easier to now make up these kind of things. But it's like, I saw the bullet holes in my grandpa's flesh. Yeah. He took two bullets fighting no, these the, motherfuckers. The Nazis were real. The Holocaust no shit. was real. Yes. Thank you, you. Listen, you can be outspoken against what has become Israel's the government of Israel. Well, ironically, their, they are they are tenants. acting like Germany right yeah. now. I got to tell you, they are. Yeah, they are. And anyone who's in denial of this need, needs needs a gut check. And, and for real, you know, needs to do some serious. Listen, there's atrocities reflection. on both sides. Totally. And guess what? We've committed atrocities too. A couple, eh? Just yeah. a couple. We got to get move past this. We can get back to it after we take the power back by non-compliance, non-compliance. saying no. Yeah. No. You want to draft me? No. You want me to go to war? No. You, you want, want to, to spend all you, our tax dollars? You want me dollars? to stay in my house? No. No. You know. Hell yeah. You want me to wear a mask? 
Mm. Oh, if you know what, if you want to put the mask on and it makes you feel comfortable, I don't give a shit. Yeah, go but, to you go, know whatever. Go it's to like, Asia. It's just, <laughs> I mean, they love them there. I just find it. I, I'm not going to be afraid of the air. <laughs> no, no, I'm just not the kind of guy. Like I'm going. If I'm afraid of the air, it's already over for Listen, me. Listen, if fuck you're that. getting health advice from the United States government, uh oh, then you are. You're big you are fucked. Well, you can't meet. You don't eat meat. Eat ten bread. What is it? Ten bread servings I mean, the, a day. The, the, and the fucking, pyramid scheme. I mean, yeah. the pyramid. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It that is. That shit's it is a insane, scheme. bro. The ultimate pyramid scheme. Um, I mean, listen. If I was going to get advice about health, I wouldn't go to the to the people who have been known to poison. Oh. you know. For their own experimentation. Actively poison, yeah. And Canada, you know, Canada's government is guilty of the exact same thing. We just allow companies to run roughshod. Like, you know? they can they can do whatever they want. They pay the smallest portion of... So $10 billion, that 3M quote, I think that's two quarters for them. Yeah. And they did it for 10 years. So it's nothing. It's, pff, pff, nothing. Okay, we pff, we probably gave uh, 10 million people cancer. Whatever. Yeah. Pff, whatever. There's that's, no way to quantify We it. don't care. There's no way to quantify The government it. doesn't care. No. As long as they get a little bit more money so they can well, what, they're, they're, send it overseas. And that's why you need the revolving door. That's why you have the, especially in America, yeah. that's why you have the revolving door. But um, so you have uh, a YouTube channel, which yes, you're sir. growing now. Yes, sir. Um, you have long form uh, content available. Long form content coming out. And you have an incredible following both on TikTok. Yeah, thank you're, you. You're again. about to crest over a million. I think we're going to get there on IG. We're going to um, get there. I don't know if TikTok will. We like I said, maybe we're, if you we're hang out in America. I got to chill more. in America, and yeah. we might there because that's probably there. part of the reason why you're a little stifled there. It's but. a huge, it's a huge part of but it. But tell, tell everyone, remind everyone of of the name of your channel. News updates for News real updates for with real. the number four guys. I also am a novelist. I have two novels out there: uh, Confessions of a Middle Aged White Man <laughs> and Run Charlie Run. Both very satirical, sarcastic, dark humor. With a lot of passion, yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, tr we're gonna get together, and I'm gonna record the audio. Yes, for John. that's a locked in thing, right? Um, absolutely. I'm, I'm okay, bro. I'm excited about that, man. Um, I've been looking for someone to help with that. That way, you have an audible version to sell. So, guys, audio book coming. Soon. I'm gonna read it, so it's gonna be listen, top. -notch. Listen to this guy's voice, man. Listen, listen yeah, to the voice. You know he's gonna man. crush it. Um, you'll have fun with it too. Like I said, man. Oh, I can't wait, dude. There's I'm one sure. line in it. Uh, Oh God, her hair has done up something. I'm not going to ruin it, but there's a lot of lines you're going to oh, have I'm a lot sure, of fun dude. with. I'm going to have um, a blast with it, bro. And she smells like something I want to fuck is one of the lines. Yes. <laughs> That's in the run, Charlie Run. Oh. So the one is obviously about a jaded father, middle-aged guy. The other one is about Charlie, uh, who is a university. It's a very uh, ginger man-esque, Brett Easton Ellis, That's less cool. than zero type book. Yeah. Um, Check them out, guys. Support independent grassroots journalism. We've been doing a lot. We raised $1,500. I'll tell you this quick, actually. Go for it. Leamington, Ontario. Shout out Family Kitchen. Um, they were. Uh, this was a woman who provides uh, pay-it-forward meals for homeless oh, cool. people. Meal tickets, essentially. People that can't afford it. She'll just give you a meal if you come in. Yeah. And you can't afford it. And she knows this is a small community. Uh, the government tried to sue her two million fucking dollars for trying to feed people during, you know, what? Oh, God, yeah, man. two milli. Then they used drones. The city used drones to spy on her, and they came and took her chickens from her backyard. So we raised fifteen hundred dollars for that restaurant, my community. Nice. Uh, we were able to feed two hundred people, which is two hundred more people than the government fed. Yeah. That that That's week. Amazing. That man. is amazing. So we've also raised this week a thousand dollars for palliative care. Yeah. We're doing things on the ground. We are out on the streets. We're going to bring everyone together if it, if it kills me. I awesome. don't care. And that's what we're doing. And thank you for having me, my man. I'm with you, brother. I love the Let's mission. Let's go. I love independent journalism. Alternative news sources are vital this day and age. Literally, they could mean the difference, you know, about whether you're going to make a decision that is going to be healthy for your family or the wrong decision that's going to take you down a path that's going to lead to a lot of suffering that you could have avoided had you been informed. Yeah. And so uh, informed consent is more important than ever and and you're not going to have the right sources if you're just listening to legacy media so amen um everybody who's listening thank you so much for listening please if you're not subscribed uh to far out with faust and to news, news updates, updates for, for real, real please do so uh we appreciate that your support in every facet if you're listening on itunes or spotify if you could if you would um Drop us a comment. Drop us a yeah. review. Give us five stars. Troll me. We're, we're, Chirp me if you, you know, want. You know, I'm cool with it. We're trying to to grow, and 
the content that we create obviously isn't always kosher. Maybe that's the wrong word to use. The algorithm <laughs> does not always uh, it, smile not down always, upon us. That's you know? right. Yeah. We, we have uh, we have a little more challenge than a lot of channels that are just... What's an uphill battle for real? Yeah. I, um, we should just do So fucking, we need all the help we can get is what we're We should just do saying. ASMR. What do I do? I like this. <laughs> Or tapping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this weird world we live soothing. in, bro. So soothing. <laughs> so soothing. <laughs> so soothing. Um, but but we appreciate you guys very much. So yes. please, 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 please subscribe, follow, like, check us out on Instagram. Um, my man's still on TikTok. I got kicked off. Maybe I'll be back one day. We'll get um, him back, guys. We'll get him back. <laughs> I'll be back for a little while and then they'll kick me off again. But Undoubtedly. Much love to you, John. Thank, Thank you so you, much sir. for coming, bro. We're we're gonna we're gonna continue to uh do some collaborations. Hell yeah. You know, uh John's here for a couple of days, so you guys will be hearing from us. Much love to you. Uh thank you for listening and peace, everybody. Thank you guys. All right, bro. Nailed it. Killed it. Not what I'm referring to, though. Also, not what I'm referring to. <laughs> that felt real nice, my friend.